Hello, good morning. Welcome to KC Video Devotionals for Singles. Today is the 27th of January. My name is Oni Elizabeth. Our topic for today is a few things singles need to learn in their marital journey. One man was avidly studying his wedding certificate for hours. Upon being asked why, he said he was looking for the expired date. Sorry, marriage does not expire. There is no reverse gear, so don't only pray, but watch and pray before you make your decision. Another man was watching his wedding tape, but this time backward, he saw himself removing the ring, walked out of the church, entered his car, and zoomed off. He wished he could do that in real life, but sorry, marriage is a heaven, not an oven. Marriage is to be enjoyed and not endured. There is tremendous power in marriage as a couple. The devil reorganizes this power at your disposal as a married couple. That is why his intention is to throw a monkey wrench at your stuff. There are some precautions you can take in order to ensure that you are one with your spouse and that the power of agreement is not broken. Singles must learn these principles as well so that their relationship and courtship can work out well. The Christian life is not hard to live. In fact, it is when you don't follow God that things get messed up and complicated. That is why Jesus Christ said his yoke is easy. Learn about it. It is easier that way. When you fall in love with a married man, it's a trap. It's a distraction and your focus will be broken. No matter how nice the man is, what is wrong is wrong. When you fall in love with someone who doesn't have a relationship with God, your focus will be broken. You are not going in the same direction. You would soon be worried if you hold on to that kind of relationship. Number one, if you want a successful marriage, never insult or abuse your spouse on account of someone else. Preserve your marriage by respecting your spouse inside and outside. Most courtship never lasts on this account. This is because for men, respect is a major issue. Every man is egocentric, although excessive egocentricity is not good. Number two, never empower others against your spouse. Don't shoot yourself in the leg. You are one in marriage, and that is how God sees it. Support your spouse always. The same way in courtship. Once you see your partner is always against you, in and out, it is a sign that there is a deeper problem to deal with. Number three, never allow anybody to come and live with you in the house without the full agreement of your spouse. If your spouse is not in support, your attempt to help others can be at the expense of your marriage, and it can drive you apart. Many marriages are under tremendous pressures because the wife is not only taking care of her husband but several siblings at a time. Issues will necessarily come out of this. Singles, never pack into your partner's house when you are not yet married. You will lose your respect and things might not turn out well because you are working in disobedience to God. Number four, never, number four, never oppose your spouse openly. Don't build walls against yourself. If you must correct your spouse, don't do it in the presence of his friends and colleagues. You might end up adding more to the issue. However, you can always have a confidant with whom both of you agree you can discuss with because there are times you really need to pour your heart out. Singles, it is a danger signal if you are accountable to no one in country and nobody can speak into your life. It is a very risky game. Number five, never get close to others other than your spouse. Be your spouse's friend and never allow anybody to come in between you. There are Delilah's, Jezebel's, Amnon's, Jonadab, and so on. The moment you know, and you always know that you are getting up close and emotional to someone apart from your spouse, cut it off or else you will soon be in serious trouble. The moment you can hide things from your spouse, it is the beginning of problems. The moment you can discuss your spouse with colleagues and they discuss theirs with you, you are going too far. The devil will set a trap, avoid distractions. Double dating is not scriptural for singles. As singles, never attempt to make your fiancé happy by compromising your virtues. You will never be able to secure a relationship by offering sex. You will actually jeopardize the relationship because you are violating God's principles. Sex does not prove your love. It shows your ignorance because every time you offer your body to secure a relationship, you always lose the man or the relationship. Meditation for the day. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11. Message translation.
After all, we don't want to unwittingly give Satan an opening for yet more mystery. We are not oblivious to his sly ways. Prayer for the day. Lord, teach me how to be a skillful partner. Prayer 2. Father, give me wisdom to move from single to married. Prayer 3. O oh Lord, I reject every plan of the devil over my relationship. Confession for the day. I will invest in my relationship. My spouse is second to none but God. I will protect my relationship. I will not compromise. I will not expose my partner. I will be a covering to him or her. I will never expose my spouse. I will never insult or oppose him or her in the public. By the grace of God, I will be open to and with my partner. Action plan for the day. Have a hearty discussion with your partner on how you can love each other better. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases in Us Club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international gifts, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at casesandos.com slash give. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage, and these books are available on Amazon and on Kata Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandobs.com slash books. If you live in the city of Ibada, we'd like you to watch it with us at Shouts of Grace Center. It's at Joker Plaza, beside Trans Amusement Park, Bodita, UI Road, in the city of Ibada. On Sundays, we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock, and by Wednesdays, 6 p.m. It will be our pleasure to have you. Kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com. You have a lot of resources for your soul.